How's it going guys? Today we are actually going to finish putting the interior back together on the 350Z. Got some stuff that we kind of changed around like the cruise control switch. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Okay, uh, for the horn, um, I said it was just the, what is it, green and black? It's the green and black wire that runs this little harness right here. Um, I just kind of snipped it out of it. And what I'm going to do is hook it to this switch right here, which is a, one of the gas, uh, was it, I guess like the gas door opener. So I took this off one of the other cars over there, and I'm going to put it right beside the uh, BDC off whatever button so it'll be right here reach down and press that and that'll be the horn and you'll still have the regular gas door opener right down there so I guess this is just way so the car will still be I guess it will still be street legal I guess I don't know and that's I'm just you know you have to have a horn but anyway yep I'm just gonna run that wire down through here and it just has to go to a ground, so this right here just has to hit the ground. So, I mean, once it hits ground, the horn goes off. So, I'm just going to run this wire to that switch. Run the other end of the wire. Probably ground to this little bracket right here. And it'll be done. And put it on this harness right here. And tape it together. And it'll look really neat. So, and clean. But, yeah. That's what I got going on for that. And then, so I'm going to get this knocked out real quick. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do for the cruise control switch. I'm going to mount it like right up under the uh, headlight switch. So should look really clean and maintain all the functions that you would have had on the factory radio or the factory steering wheel. So. All right, we got our horn wire. Um, I'll solder it up, some heat shrink around it. Just kind of tucked it up and kind of ran it behind. You're never going to be able to see that, but just kind of ran it down behind and followed the wiring harness. Uh, right here, uh, probably like zip tight to, so it stays with it so it's kind of out of the way and doesn't rub anything. And this guy right here, if you look up there, you can kind of see it, maybe not. But anyway, you can't really see it, but right up there, there is a. There you can, there you go. There's a nut right there, so I'll probably just put a banjo on this wire and hook it right there to that banjo, so that'll be, or hook it right there to that, that uh, bolt, so that will be 100% ground. Won't have no problem with that. And that'll pretty much take care of the horn. And then this right here will just kind of, you know, just kind of plug in right beside the uh, BDC off. So it's kind of how it'll sit. And then when you press the button, horn will go off. So it'll work. Perfect. Sweet. But yeah, this is basically what I come up with. Um, this is the uh, cruise control uh, buttons. I just kind of took them off the little bracket. And I just drilled two holes. Like I said, it goes, you know, it's gonna be like right here, up under the headlight switch. So, basically just drill two holes. Like I said, I really don't wanna get the headache of like trying to mount it lower and get it flush. So, I mean, this right here, it's kinda of out of the way. You're not gonna see it. And if you do see it, don't look bad. I mean, it's just, look like a black switch sitting there, so. And I just kinda of put a little hole right there for the wire to come through. This is the back side. I basically just plastic welded. It has like these two places for screws to go. But they stick like way out and there's not enough um, thread depth so once you cut that off you know you can't put a screw in it so um, I just basically drilled a hole big enough to come through there and just plastic welded it to the body uh, you know so I mean it's on there it's on there solid like I said you're not really gonna be putting a lot of pressure on this so don't think it's gonna be a problem and if it the switch goes bad you can kind of see right there where you can unclip it and pull it all apart, but I'm hoping that won't be an issue. So, yeah, it'd be kind of clean, out of the way. Uh oh, you know, so I think it'll look okay. And it's like actually functionable. Like you can reach down there and hit those buttons from driving without really losing focus or anything. So all I gotta do is just wire the the two wires in right there so I'm gonna solder those up put some heat shrink on them and uh, should be good and you got this little 
this little connector right here so if you need to take it off you can just you know take it off and pretty much it you know be it so things can work out good and i don't know if i recorded this or not but i basically went to my local bike shop and just picked up like some foam grips for uh bikes so that's kind of neat and we'll go ahead and finish putting the rest of the interior back together that way we can move on to getting the body of this thing painted and actually actually having a uh a complete car so i'm gonna knock this out real quick all right moving right along but right there like i said these guys soldered heat shrinked looks really good so uh, i still need to depin these where i cut the, the other stuff off like the airbag and everything so um probably do that real quick and then we throw our thing together and uh test it out still can't test the cruise control out though um because i still hadn't figured out why my speedo's not working um I'm sure i got like a wheel speed sensor or something like that maybe i'm not sure but i'll look into that later but for now i just want to finish getting the interior together and uh work on getting the body straightened out um but that'll be on the next video but anyway i'm gonna finish this up real quick all right guys that's pretty much it for this side you can kind of see the switch right there uh, like i said when you're driving you know it's kind of it's easy to hit you know so don't look too bad i wish it was a little bit neater and kind of a little more hidden but um yeah, yeah it's a drift car right yeah uh, like so that's your your normal vdc off whatever regular gas door down here here at opening and then you got your horn so it'll work now i can move on to the rest of the uh interior i want to show y'all a real quick trick so we got this little gap going right here it's kind of irritating me a little bit um but if you if i can see if i can get you guys set up real quick where you can see it if you take a heat gun and kind of just hold the gap closed and zap it with some heat don't get carried away because you can you can melt some stuff and burn your finger which is really really hot right now maybe we should get something Get my finger out of the way. Hold it still for a second and let it cool. Still blistering hot. This might take a second, guys. Hold on. Took a minute, but as you can see, gap's closed up. It's looking a whole lot better now. All right, guys. I've retreated to the garage. Uh, got dark. I did get everything done. Um, so just come over here so I can show you all and get this video finished. Um, I think it turned out awesome. The interior looks good. Um, especially when you consider where this car come from. But the handbrake and everything, it worked out. It looks awesome. So I'll show you guys that real quick. But it's, it's definitely come a long way. It looks awesome. I'm pumped on it. Nothing's been like armor rolled or anything. It's just been wiped down with a microfiber, a wet one. So I'm sure with like some armor roll or something, it's gonna clean up even better. I have ordered a racing seat and brackets. So I'm just waiting on that to come in. Or the passenger seat is in decent shape, so I probably won't mess with it. But I do have a racing seat and seat bracket coming for the driver. And I'm really, I'm really pumped on how it turned out. I mean, it looks awesome. It's what I wanted. It's clean. Um, I can drive it every day. The fitment on the, the handbrake and everything turned out pretty good. Like I said, um, this seat, this head unit is just temporary. I want to go with like a single den, uh, something a little newer, but I had it, it, so it worked, so why not use it? Oh, focusing. Kind of messed up. 
one little nick right there. And it has like these little spots. I don't know what the heck that is. Like, hadn't used any cleaner yet. Like I so said, just, you know, uh, a rag and water. But I'm hoping those will actually go away. But for now, it's not going to hurt. Like I said, uh, on my old car, I painted all this black and it looked really good. And that right there is killing me. I hate that. But the cubby actually works. I actually did not put the reservoir right there like I originally intended. I actually ended up hiding it back here behind the dash and I don't have footage for it. So for that, I'm sorry, guys. But the cup holder right here works, which is kind of neat. I actually broke the little piece off the bottom so it actually holds the cup better because I always use like, you know, you know, QT, big cup, big goat, whatever you want to call them. So, but yeah, it's, uh, the interior is done and I'm pumped on it. So, now I can move on to like doing some body stuff, which I'm not looking forward to because I hate painting. I cannot stand it. Like I said, paint and body, I hate it. It's like really tedious and eh, you know, like, yeah, I'm not gonna go back with the original color. I'm just going to hit the gaps on everything, like where the bumper bolts the car and where the, you know, the side skirts and stuff like that, where they'll be inside the door jam. And I'm going to spray it another white, just a regular clean white. Cause I actually, if you look at the car, um, it actually has like a yellow tint to it sometimes. I don't know if that's like maybe a buff out or something, but I'm not gonna mess with it. So I'm just gonna paint it back a regular plain white. So whoa, check this out. <laughs> Got the old school 2002. Oh man, race car in there. I found this digging through some of my stuff. But look at that. It, it literally went straight to the RX-7. I've been in the game for a while, so. I can't tell you how many times I've looked over this. Who knows, maybe one of these days, I might get my hands on a three rotor. But yeah, found that in the shop. Thought that was kinda, kinda neat, so. Yeah, she's coming along. Got to figure out, pick this up. Got to figure out where I'm going to mount this. So, because, you know, got to have your phone. As far as that, I just kind of put a little zip tie around it. So. It's coming along pretty good. I'm pumped. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I've been messing with this thing all day. Um, it's early in the morning. I'm kind of beat. You know, I was kind of messing around, you know, with some, some stickers and stuff like that, trying to give the car a little more personality, I guess, more like uh, whatever, I don't know. Yeah, it's early in the morning, so. <laughs> that's rambling, but yeah. I just wanna say thanks again for all the support. It is. So appreciated. I can't even tell you guys how much, you know, it means to me. So, uh, the YouTube thing is something I wanted to do for a long time. I'm glad I'm finally actually doing it. I'm trying not to, to get everything lost in my chaos of like, you know, switching projects. I'm always got stuff going on, you know. Just pick 350Z up. It's going really well. I'm really pumped on this car. I can't wait to go to some events. Um, I'm talking to some of my friends about like trying to go to the mountains and stuff like that. So that'll be really neat. Really looking forward to that. So I'm pumped on it. Got a lot of good videos I want to throw up, or you know, a lot of videos I want to put together for you guys. Need to do something with this thing. Um, I'm actually hinting on the idea of selling this off and just not doing the 13B thing and. Um, just getting a 20B. So, the only hang up with that is I really don't want to keep the rotary powered car. Um, I really want a white, another white at the RX7. So, 
I might sell this and the other RX-7 and just find another FD. I don't know. Anyway, it's just ideas because you know I've always wanted to be. My lucky number is three, so makes sense. Three rotors. Uh, so just always stuff going on. I got all my RC stuff. I want to go for some events and uh, actually get some racing done with those. my helmet and jacket holder, my poor CBR. Uh, I'd like to go for some track days with it. So but anyway, I'm rambling again, it's, it's early, so excuse me. But yeah, all the support is much, much appreciated, guys. I'm telling you, I'm so pumped on it. Um, the channel's growing at a steady, slow pace, but it's growing and that's all, I'm, that's all I can ask for. So I'm pumped on it. So I just want to say, a big, big thanks for all the people that are watching, supporting, subscribing, sharing, and all that stuff. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. And I'm going to be doing some giveaways and stuff like that. Maybe not such big item stuff, but hopefully it will grow into bigger item stuff. The Kyosho the MP10T, I still have it. Make sure you go and comment and subscribe and share on that video. Um, I would really like to see that thing go to a good home. But. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I greatly appreciate it and I'll see you on the next video. Should get interesting, so stick around.